So today we have a Galaxy A20s that has a broken screen and it stopped turning on. The screen was working as far as I can tell but it's no longer doing anything. So we will then do a little test here to see if it even takes a charge. It does not, it doesn't even vibrate or do any noises. So we will need to take this one apart to see what's wrong and then replace the screen. So in order to take this one apart we need to heat up the back of the phone because this is a little cover that is glued on to the frame. So let's use our heat gun at around 200 degrees so we can soften the glue and then lift this one up. And now with the phone heated we will use a sucker to pull up on the cover and use our tweezers to get a little bit of space between the cover and the frame of the phone. It is a little tricky to do this because the glue is very strong and be careful not to do any dents on the plastic as well. So it takes a few tries in order for this to work. Eventually we will get there. This looks very very easy on other people's videos but when I do it it's always very very hard. So there it is, we have managed to put our pick inside the cover. Now we just need to go around with a blade to cut that glue off. There are no cables on this side so we are good to go. With that done, let's remove all the Phillips screws from this back panel. And with the SIM tool remover, we need to remove the tray with the SIM that is inside. Then we just slide our fingernails under the plastic to remove this back panel. With the back panel removed, let's see if we can find out why is the phone not turning on. Let's just unplug the battery first and remove this little ID fingerprint ID I think it's the name for uh, so we don't damage it and I can already see that this cable is loose so this was probably the issue behind not turning on so I would say this phone is working properly let's just connect back the battery and see if it turns on and if it takes a charge when we plug it in so let's then plug it in As you can see, it's now taking a charge and the screen, besides being broken, works. So that was our problem. A little connector that went loose when the phone fell off. 
So let's leave it to charge a little bit. It's not turning on, the battery should be very flat. So we'll get back into the video when it gets a little bit of charge. So right here we can see that it took 1% charge. Let's then try to turn it on to see if we have any life on the phone. And there it is, it's booting up. This is a very good sign. So which means the only thing we need to do is replace the screen to a new one. So this is a creepy screen lo login. It's asking for a password, so yeah, it's all okay. Let's just test if the touch is working or not by inserting some letters on the password thing. It looks okay. So if the screen is working and the touch is working, we're good to go to change the screen. So let's then remove the plastic cover on the bottom of the phone by removing all the screws. They are all Phillips screws, four black ones. And we lift the uh, panel out in order so we can disconnect the antenna cable and the rest of the cables. So with all the disconnections done, we need to heat up the screen and lift it up. This will be a while. The heat gun is at around 200 degrees. I usually start by heating up the bottom of the phone because in this case is where it's still uh, pristine, it's not broken. So the, uh, my sucker will then be able to hold it better on that side, but it's usually the easier way where you can pull the screen out. Again, this is super hard to do. I'm not sure how the other YouTubers do it and make it look so easy, but this is absolutely difficult to do. So here I will not edit it, so you can see how hard it is with the tweezer, because it's the sharpest thing I have around here, besides my blade, but um, it's not even going in, and it's denting the plastic a little bit as well, so this is not, not easy to do. So if you do this, be aware that it's not an easy task, but can be done. I will keep trying. I've managed to do this on other Samsung phones without breaking the glass, so I will just keep on doing until I manage to.
is it finally went in so I will now use my plastic pick under the blade so I can put it in and then start opening it up just like so I put it over the blade sorry and now with the plastic pick just go around the screen to remove the glue that it's holding it onto the phone So with the old screen removed we'll just take this little pillow and put it on that little space where it should be and then we will just unpack the brand new screen and test it to see if it works. And see as you can see it has the same model number so this is the correct screen so let's keep on going doing what we do best which is fix stuff So with the screen back in place, let's just turn it on and see if it works. There it is, it turns on. So the screen looks amazing. So yeah, it's working as it should, so let's just turn it off and then place the screen on the phone. It needs a password to go off, so let's just do that off screen. So another horror movie back panel thing okay so let's turn it off now and put it all back together so to start we need to remove the old glue from the frame of the phone so we need to use our little cotton bud with some IPA on it and go cleaning around to remove this old glue so we can put our new screen back on the phone.
So with that done, let's then use our B7000 glue to go around the frame and then glue our screen in place. So let's then make sure to get this right the first time. So we need to put our cable through the little hole and then make sure to center the screen very, very well so that the glue doesn't spread to the insides of the screen. So we do a little bit of pressing around the edges to make sure that the screen is properly attached on the frame of the phone. So now we use some cloth packs that I have laying around to put some pressure on the glue and leave it for at least 30 minutes. This glue will take around 24 hours for it to get solid but 30 minutes is enough. So now we will remove the glue for the back panel so we can then glue the back panel in place. To do that we use our cotton bud soaked in IPA. And after this, we use a little blade to remove this uh, spongy glue that Samsung uses on the back panels. This will be a while and it's boring, so I'll just show you the beginning of it and we'll come back to the phone once it's fully cleaned. Now that it's clean, I'm just removing the little bits that are still here. So we can then clean the back cover and glue all this back in place. With the back cover also cleaned from the glue, we will pass the IPA around it to make sure its surface is clean and tidy so our glue sticks very well to the area where we apply it. So we now will apply our 3M double-sided tape so we can put this phone back together and give it back to the owner. So here another exercise, so we need to center the phone very well centered, at least with the fingerprint reader, 
it helps a little bit and then we just press it around the edges so the glue sticks With that being done, let's do a bit of cleaning with IPA so that the phone is ready to go. We remove this screen cover and clean around so we can take the bits of glue that are still hanging about. Let's turn it on and see how it looks. It looks amazing. So let me use a little bit of paper to clean this wet alcohol. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a good day.